Hello everybody. Today is the eyes of March, March 11. Getting closer to spring. So as many of us are working through releasing trauma, purging, letting go of things that do not serve us, it involves a lot of work because a lot of memories will pop up and you'll be like, what the heck was that? Situations will occur and you're like, why did that just happen? Or a core issue will hit you out of the blue that you thought you had dealt with before and you realize, oh, ouch, that's still there. So I did a video yesterday on how to um, allow things to bubble up, to scan them, to skim them off, to release them. So in this purging, there's a lot of physical pain, a lot of mental, uh, I don't want to say torment, but sometimes it honestly feels just like that. It's like, what? You know, um, and when we have other things going on in our life, it's just hard to take the time to deal with it. We just get derailed. And sometimes it could take your breath away, it can give you heart palpitations, and then you're dealing with all the other things going on in the world, as well as the environmental energies and universal energies and just everything. And you've got to maintain your bubble you've got to remain, you've got to maintain and remain in your bubble so that you can allow things to surface up and, you know, scan them, skim them and release them. So with all of that, um, tears. So, you know, it's, it's shedding showers. So if you allow yourself to have the showers of tears and you're releasing, you're shedding, you're shedding stuff that doesn't have to have a, a thought or a meaning to it. It's, it's an emotion that is um, stirring up the release through tears, which has a monumental uh, release in the physical energetic body. So it's like a, it's like a master reset. And many of us don't really cry. We'll get teary eyed. Um, but who's got time to sit and cry, right? Well, for me, I know that it's a really healthy thing and it's not as easy for me to just lose it. It just isn't. And let's face it when you are, you're never in a place or a position where you can just make the ugly cry face. Yeah, you're just never in the right place, it seems. So sometimes for me, what I'll do is I'll um, sit down and I will meditate and evoke um, the vibration of me wanting to, to, to shed tears. It could be music, it could be a sad movie, something. And I know that right now, I'm definitely gearing up for that. I'm definitely gearing up for purging and releasing through tears and just letting it all out of my deep tissue, out of my organs, out of my energetic field, and just truly dissolve it and let it go and help it to reset the vibration that I really want it to be on minus all the baggage and suitcases and crap that's 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 holding you down from really taking the time to sift through your garbage clean out your closets get the cobwebs out of the corners and we're in the perfect time of year for that because we have spring coming and you know, we've been pretty congested for over a year now, and there's a lot of incoming on information that can just literally zap any good brain cells you might have left because it's just like, what 
is going on? And it makes you just want to retreat. It truly does. It just makes you want to just be in denial and, and retreat. But we all know that we can have a little mini pity party and do that. But the real work is in allowing the process to stir up and to come up and to be able to scan it, skim it, release it so that we are healthier, happier us and tuned into our higher selves, our DNA and our God source DNA. You know, that's what we're here. It's all in here, right? So let your heart expand. Uh, let it beat to the drum that you need right now. And if that means being more secluded, and crying, journaling, writing, walking, not talking to others, whatever it is, please just do it. Just do it. And if you need help with coaching or healing work, my email's in the description. I'm happy to help. And in the meantime, uh, just know you've got this. You've got this. Okay. We're all in need to survive. Okay. And we are very resilient. And I just said to someone this morning, I don't need another lesson in survival and resilience. I just don't. But yet, here it is. So how do I face this with the best part of me and overcome and move forward with more diligence and more in tune with thy higher God self. All right, so I really hope this helps. Please like, subscribe, and share. And in the meantime, until another video,